172 in Can-Am and 917 driving for Roger Penske and also in the Trans Am, which back then in that day, a lot of the drivers jumped around, they did different series. And that's what was so amazing about George. He went and drove Formula One, finished third in his first Grand Prix. Um, so the guy was just super talented, American racing driver, just had a huge respect for him. And of course, if you're driving for the captain, that's what everybody wants to do. If you live in America, you want to drive for Roger Penske. If you're driving Formula One, you want to drive Ferrari. It's the same thing. So it, it was amazing what he did in his history. And um, that's one of the reasons I want to tribute to him as well, other than our friendship with uh, with my friendship with Bill. Just, it made so much sense. I couldn't see we was building any other car. This is my wife, Tracy, um, who's totally amazing and the beautiful thing about our relationship well there's a lot of things but in this situation we're talking about cars is my wife loves cars she drives the RS7 every day she doesn't want me to take the keys she hogs it all the time but she loves cars and she had a similar story with her dad her dad built old cars restored them etc BMWs some American muscle cars and so she grew up helping her dad do that wrench on cars. And so she had a very uh, passion for cars as well. And a matter of fact, when we decided to build this car with Bill, um, she looked at the colors and she says, oh, we need to paint that Mexico blue. And so I went to Bill and I said, Bill, we have to paint the car Mexico blue. He says, well, George, didn't, his wasn't really Mexico blue. It was this other blue. I said, well, we're gonna paint, we gotta paint it Mexico blue. He goes, I love that color. I love that color too. So that's one thing about the tribute. We try to keep it spot on but my wife wanted Mexico blue so that's what she gets and she put up with it for three years and the money going out of the bank account to make it happen and now she loves it yes. right yeah I love it thank you <laughs> my name's Troy Muller I live in San Juan Capistrano California and um, well that's gonna be hard <laughs> Uh, my introduction to Porsche was through my father, who's passed away now, but he took me when I was a young man to go see racing. Sorry. All right, <clears throat> so anyways, my first introduction to Porsche was when I was a young child. Uh, my dad took me to Riverside Raceway when I was starting at about five, all the way until I got a driver's license. We'd go to Riverside, I saw Porsches race, I saw all kinds of cars race, but I always had an affinity for Porsche. My dad loved Porsches, he loved 911s. Back in 74, when my dad took me to the track, we saw the IROC series race, which I thought was totally amazing because it took different race drivers, the champions in their categories. So they had the Fulmers, they had the Revsons, they had Fittipaldi, whoever it may have been, all come together in one mark, in one car, and it happened to be the Porsche the first year in 1974. So we started on this journey and this passion of having this George Fulmer tribute car built by Bill Fulmer in Yorba Linda, California, which is freaking amazing. He had a shop in his backyard and we said, let's do this. Through racing, uh, Bill Fulmer was racing cars, and I was. He was a few years ahead of me, um, but I knew who he was, and finally we met through work. So Bill and I sat down, we talked about a car, and of course with my history and his history, the IROC to do a tribute car, they call it. So yeah, so we bought this car. It was an 83 Tub uh, SC, uh, like I said earlier, with no engine in it. And it's basically stripped down, no seats or anything. Some of the interior was in it, but it wasn't worth anything. So we gutted the car, we had it sandblasted, all that. And once you do that, you're at the starting point. You got a clean slate, clean canvas to build whatever you want. Um, so we went with what was current at that time in 74. We put the turbo brakes on it. We did change it over to coilovers and Bilsteins on, you know, for the suspension. Um, and we picked the color, obviously, Mexico blue. And the motor in it wasn't the motor that would have been in 1974. We put a 3.6 Vario RAM in it. Uh, when we went with the wheels, obviously, we wanted to look like factory Porsche, how they were back there on the IROC car. But unfortunately, back there, they used 15-inch wheels. 
which is hard to get tires. All the high performance tires that I would want on this car to drive around the street. Easy to get in 17, so we had some custom wheels made. 9 and 11 Fook style, the same finish that they put on the IROC car in 74. So it looks very similar, but in reality it's a little bit bigger wheel just so we could buy high performance tires for the car. And one day we came to like, well what seat are we going to put in that? And Bill went, well, let me think about that for a second. Basically he went up into his attic and he pulled out his uncle's, George Fulmer's, old what they call lollipop seat that came out of his 934. Um, well, yeah, I mean, Bill just built an amazing car for us. Now that he built it and we followed through on it, it's won several awards, first place every time. My wife's taken it to all women's car show, it won there. It won the works reunion, which I had no idea. We just took it there because we thought, wow, this thing looks amazing. And we ended up winning first place. It's a great car. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Sorry. <laughs> Okay.